so let's start talking about naming when it comes to our binary molecular compounds. So let's talk about how do we name something if it's a molecular compound instead of an ionic compound. So for binary molecular compounds, these are ones that you have two metal, two nonmetals. So these are the ones that are going to be doing covalent bonding. So you'll have two nonmetals, and so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to write the name of the first element. So the name of the first element, and this is going to be the full name. So there's no shortening or ending, uh, ending for this one. It's just the full name of whatever the first element is written. The second element that's written, it's going to be the name and then the ending IDE. So this is where we're going to shorten the element name and add the IDE. But then we need to know how many of each of those we have. So we're going to use prefixes in front of each of the names to indicate the number of atoms. So this is going to indicate the number of atoms. And that's also going to be true here. The first prefix goes to the number of atoms in the first element. The second prefix is the number of uh, atoms in the second element. Now, if it is the first prefix, so here's a little exception. If the prefix for the first one is for one, we never use mono, which is the prefix for one, on the first element. So if there's only one for that first element, we don't use the prefix mono. All right, so it's prefix, name of the first element, then a space, prefix, then the name of the second element with the ending IDE. Okay. So now let's look at what these prefixes are. They're going to be similar to the ones that you saw with hydrates, those prefixes, but there's a little bit of a difference. So let's go through these. So one is going to be mono, like I said a second ago, but it's not used on that first nonmetal. So if I only have one on that first nonmetal, I don't use the prefix mono. Second is di. Third is tri, four is tetra, five is penta, six is hex hexa, seven is hepta, eight is octa, nine is nona or nana, and ten is deca. Now, if the name of the element begins with a vowel, we're going to drop the A. So say the element is iodine. We don't say tetraiodine, we say tetraiodine, so pentiodine, or pentiodide. So there's not an A there, like decaiodide, it's not decaiodide. But if it's the I's, we leave it, so it would be diiodide, triiodide. Um, but with the A's, we drop the A's if the first letter in the name of the element starts with a vowel. All right, so let's do some practice, and on the next video, we're going to start practicing how to go from the formula to the names for these molecular compounds.